Hey, hey, touch for touch, baby. That's right, session five. Today, it's touch footy time. So we're gonna learn some skills that we use in the game, aren't we, Tiaki Oh, yeah! All right, well, without delay, let's get straight into it. Yeah. How did you start a game of touch footy? What's the first thing we do in a game of touch? Yep, we've got to do the tap. And the tap is done, Tiaki, putting the ball on the mark, touching it with your foot, and picking it up nice and cleanly. So the key is, ball gets put on the mark, touch it with your foot, bang, and pick it up. Okay, so I want you guys to practice five taps of the ball. Let's go, Tiaki, five taps of the ball while you guys get into it too. See you soon. Hopefully you had fun learning how to do the tap. We use that lots in the game of touch footy. But now, if I'm playing a game of touch, Tiaki, how do I win the game? By scoring? A try. Scoring tries, nice and safely. Two hands on the ball, ball put on the ground. So I've gone out and we've grabbed a couple of markers. I've got a marker here, which is a drink bottle, yes. Another marker over here, which is a drink bottle, yes. So ball goes on the ground over here, and Tiaki's gonna jump behind the ball. Now he starts with a tap, and then runs around the marker, comes back and scores an awesome try. Beautiful, go again. I want you to do it three times. Okay, so get into it, we'll see you soon. Oh, hope you had some fun scoring some tries. Cool, we all know everybody loves scoring a good try. Now, uh, right, what we're gonna do now is, what I really loved when I was watching Tiaki run around, is he was holding the ball in two hands. Now, the reason we like holding the ball in two hands is there's so many things we can do with it. We can pass it to someone, we can score a try, we can play the ball. We can dummy. We can dummy. Cool. So this time though, we're gonna practice just running as fast as we can with the ball in two hands. Still starting with a tap and finishing with a try. So let's go Tiaki, tap to start. Ball on the ground, tap, ball in two hands the whole way, running as fast as you can. Nice, three times each. Off you go, we'll see you soon. Score a try. Great, hope you had fun running with the ball in two hands. Now, like Tiaki said before, one of his favourite things to do with the ball in two hands is called throwing a dummy, which is where we pretend to pass. So this time when you run, you can run nice and slowly and just throw the dummy both ways. So start with the tap, Tiaki, off we go. And then slow down, ball in two hands, pretend to pass to people. Pretend to pass it. Pretend to pass around the cone, pretend to pass and score a try. Booyah! Three times, baby. We'll see you soon. Hey, I hope you enjoyed practicing throwing your dummies. I know I've fallen for a few in my time. Cool, but now, if that's how we hold the ball in two hands when we have people in front of us and we want to dummy them or score tries or play the ball, how do we hold the ball if we want to run fast? What do you reckon? Underarm! I reckon he's running to Townsville as well. Cool at the moment. But anyway, cool. So this time we're going to start with a tap. Ball goes down on the ground, Tiaki. As soon as you pick it up, straight under the arm as fast as you can around the marker. And then back and score a try. Let's go. As fast as you can. Cool. Back down, score a try. Nice. Let's do it again. Other arm. This time change arms. Tap. Boom. Round. Off we go. Yeah, good one. Score a try. Nice. Two times under each arm. Have a go. See you soon. I don't know about you, but I'm puffed just watching this fella go. But now, this time we're going to practice the scoop. Okay, so the scoop happens in a game of touch up for somebody's rolled the ball. Now, the scoop is done exactly the same way as we play the ball. We lunge, we bend, we put the ball on the ground. Then we lunge, we bend, we pick the ball up off the ground. So exactly the same technique. Give it a go, Tiaki, show me your scoop. So we're back, we go over the ball, and then we pick it up. Boom! Awesome, good scoop. How do we put that into our little wee running drill? Tiaki's going to put the ball just in front of the marker. So here we go, ball just in front of the marker, and then stand beside the marker. And same thing again, turn around, scoop the ball around the cone, score me a try. 
go. Scoop, good scoop. Round the go. School me and try. Boom! Three times each. We'll see you soon. Had fun scooping. Now we've got a little wee game for you. You know, we've shot around, looked in the cupboards, and picked out all of our water bottles. Um, I don't know if you guys are like me, and over the years you've got a massive collection. You've got, you know, a couple of kids at home, and I've got a couple each as well. But you can see we've set them up around us. You can use markers, you can use teddy bears, you can use whatever you want, you know, mum's bars. I'm sure she'll love it. And now all we're doing is our thumbs are going to go down the seam of the ball, and we're actually going to go around and knock them all over as quickly as we can. So, Tiaki, when I say go, is going to go up to one of these. He's going to get nice and low with his legs down and his upper body still upright. And he's going to swing his hand, bang, and hit them over. Cool, come to the next one, get nice and low, swing his hands, bang, and smack it over. We're trying to avoid bending from the hips, and we want to use our nice lunge and this technique here and be able to get this nice swing on. Are you ready? Three, two, go. Boom. Go for it, buddy. Boom. Both ways. Nice. I like you trying the other way. Go, go, go. The clock is on. Get those legs down. Stop bending your back. Choo you get the idea. Have a go. Get into it and have some fun. That was good fun, watching this guy tear around and knock some cones over, or markers, or bottles, or whatever you have. Now we've set them all up again, because it's time for Tiaki. I don't know if you tuned into last week's Touch for Top session, but a hot step and a bit of footwork. Now he's going to run around this room here, with the ball in two hands, practicing all of his little bits of footwork inside. Are you ready, Tiaki? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Change your direction, both feet. <laughs> he gets a bit excited, this guy. You get the idea, have some fun. Maybe 30 seconds, let's go. Woo! I tell you, man, I'm tired. If you guys be pumping it like this guy has been, you'll be a little bit sweaty too. Last game, best game the world ever invented. What's it called? Woo-wash! Yeah. But the key is, I'm only allowed to walk, I'm not allowed to run, and he's not allowed to touch any of the landmines. So either I can touch him, or he runs into one of the landmines along the way. Boom, shut the luck. All he's got to do is make it from one end to the other. So your starting point is right here, Tiaki. Cool. Our outline is going to be the outside of this cone here, or this marker, and the other outline is the outside of this marker, or this drink bottle we have on the ground. And all he's got to do is make it to the other end, which is right here, the last drink bottle or marker. Are you ready? How do we start the game with a tap? Tap means go. I'm only allowed to walk. Ooh, scores a try at the other end. Tap to start, let's go, buddy. <laughs> hey, best game we've ever met, it was full rush. Hope you guys had fun doing some touch footy skills today. We really look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Bye-bye.